So I'm mad at myself, y'all, that I expected the Zeus Network to do the right thing. I'm mad at myself that I actually thought that the Zeus Network and Lemon Pepper and all them over there were going to do the right thing by the viewers, do the right thing by the network. Do the right thing overall when it comes to the Baddies Caribbean cast. And if you don't know, the Baddies Caribbean cast was announced today. And baby, let me tell you, I was very disappointed in a lot of the cast that they showed us. Now, there was a few that I'm looking forward to. I mean, there, it's a lot. And you better believe we're going to talk about it, okay? Welcome back to Damien After Dark. If you're new here or you have not subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button right down there. Get locked into all things Damien After Dark so you never miss a beat, okay? And turn on your post notifications. You don't want to miss the Baddies East After Show when it goes live this spring, summer, okay? Now, also, if you'll click that thumbs up button and like the video, that helps me get into the algorithm. I really appreciate that from you guys. Join the conversation. Get in the comment section. I want to hear what y'all got to say about this cast. Ooh, I tell y'all, I don't get to respond to every comment like I want to, but I try to read every comment, and I want to. I want to see what y'all got to say. I want to. Do y'all are y'all liking this cast? Ugh. Have you? Maybe you haven't seen the cast. That's why I'm here. Okay. That's why I'm here. Cause I'm gonna. I'm gonna fill you in on who's gonna be on Baddie's Caribbean. Um. Also, if you do know, if you already if you already have seen the cast, then stick around and you can hear my thoughts and opinions on it, and I want to hear yours. So get in the comment section now. Last but not least, if you want to support the channel and join the movement, in the description box below will be ways that you can donate using PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and Zelle. I'll also post my Amazon wish list down there for those that choose to take that route. Thank you guys for the love, the support, the donations subscribing to the channel comment and all that i love you guys so so much okay um hope you all are doing great i hope you all are having a great week and it's been positive it's been productive and if it's not try your hardest to think positive okay manifest manifestation is real y'all think positive think great things are going to happen to you and they do it can't rain forever right Before we begin, I upgraded my phone today. For those who don't know, I film all my YouTube videos on my iPhone. And I upgraded my iPhone today. I got the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I was going to do an unboxing, but I'm like, no, this phone came out six months ago. Fuck it. But hopefully, stay tuned because my videos might just look even better. I hope. I hope. Has anybody got this phone? You guys like the 15 Pro Max? They said if you're a content creator, it's really good. So I'm looking forward to using that. Um, so, and it's raining and thundering here where I'm at. I don't know about you guys, but the weather is pretty crazy right now. So if you hear anything in the background, that's what it is. Let's talk about this cast. Baby, let's talk about this cast. Because Zeus is finally gearing up to film Baddies Caribbean. They will start filming any day now any week now okay so if you think about it they're gonna start filming in march for sure i say march for sure we'll have the show in may maybe even the end of april okay so after show is coming very soon stay tuned for that now who's gonna be on the who's gonna be on the cast let's put up here on the screen now, Zeus posted, ah, it's official. The returning cast for Baddies Caribbean includes EP, Miss Natalie Nunn, of course. We all knew that, right? Nobody's shocked that Natalie's there. And Baddie OG's Sukihana, Scotty, Biggie, Taseki, Mariah, Sapphire, and Jayla. Now, I was so disappointed when I saw this. I was so disappointed when I saw this because, Zeus, we talked about this. We talked about this. It's like a fucking toxic ex that you've told the same thing over and over and over again. Or that toxic boyfriend. I told you, and they keep doing it. Like that badass kid that you say, stop. And they just stop touching the heater. And they just keep touching or they keep poking or whatever. That's what I feel like is happening right now. Zeus, y'all know. Like, and the thing is, Lemmy... 
led us to believe lemon pepper led us to believe remember when they were trying to get people to come to the auditions and handing out five thousand dollars come to the baddies caribbean auditions you led a lot of people to believe when you made the statement when because the fans called it out and we said you know this is a fraud the auditions are a fraud y'all are not going to pick a lot of girls from the auditions you're going to pick one or two and give us a bunch of has-beens and let me you know pretty much insinuated no come to the auditions we are choosing girls from the auditions now and i feel bamboozled because why are we getting half of the same cast from last season why somebody make it make sense for me i'm gonna go down through here natalie we knew was gonna be there i'm not even gonna say much about natalie Suki, I could do without Suki. Suki, I feel like, is being shoved down our throats at this point. We've seen her on Love and Hip Hop. We've already seen her on Baddies. And we can scroll on Instagram and see her with her ass out, bent over, tongue, talking about licking booty holes, sucking dick. Look, look, it's played out. I'm, I don't care to see Suki again. Scotty, what the fuck? This is, Maddie, this is gonna be her fourth run? Really? Scotty shouldn't have got a season two. Love you, Scotty. Think she's a cool girl. Thinks she's sweet. She'd probably be fun. I'm tired of seeing Scotty. She shouldn't be there. There should be a new girl there. Who's next? Biggie. I was mad that Biggie was there at first, but then I said, okay, if they're going to bring anybody back from last season, if they really wanted to bring back people from the previous season, I, I can guess I could see them bringing back Biggie because she was a fan favorite to a lot of people. Whether you liked her or not, Biggie was a fan favorite to a lot of people. Was I a fan favorite? No. Do I like Biggie's song that she released and the music that she's doing? I love it. Do I think, do I want to watch her on Baddies Caribbean? Not really. But if they're going to bring somebody back, I get that one. I get Biggie. So I'm going to give Biggie a pass. Taseki, I'm not mad at it. Taseki didn't do a lot in Baddies East. I hope this is a chance for her to redeem herself with Baddies Caribbean. I hope we get to get to know Taseki and fall in love with her outside of her sister's shadow. Um, I think this is a good move for her because now look, Zeus don't have Krishan anymore. That was their their that was their face, right? Um, and they're gonna get the next best thing, which is her sister. This is good for Zeus. This is good for Taseki. People love Taseki. She's got a big fan base. Those eyeballs are gonna stay over there on Zeus. Taseki, this is good for her money wise. This is great for her career. Taseki. What I like about her is that she's taking this platform and she's doing something with it. A lot of people get on these shows like Zeus and they get lazy. They don't do nothing. They collect the check and they go about their day. People like Taseki I admire because she's got something else that she's funneling money in with. A music career. Krishan never took her, her music career serious. And I was always on her ass about that. I said, Krishan, you will never get this moment back again in your life. You're going to get older. We're going to forget about you. Take this moment, harness it, and make it something big. Make it a legacy that you can leave for Krishan Jr. She flopped the bag. She's over there in the house, you know, thing, waiting for Blueface to get home. Whatever. I'm not mad at Tzatziki being there. Mariah Lynn. Mariah Lynn could have stayed in the past. I wanted to give Mariah Lynn a chance going into Baddies East because I had never watched Mariah Lynn, and I wanted to do a non-biased opinion from watching her and get to know her myself. Um, never seen her on Love and Hip Hop before, so I was like, let me get to know Mariah. Wasn't that impressed. Mariah seems like a flip-flop. Mariah seems to flow wherever the wind goes, and she's going to have the opinion of whatever's the popular opinion. Next, for me. Sapphire, there's not much to say about Sapphire. Uh, she's a follower like Mariah Lynn. She's going to do whatever the crowd says. I don't respect that. If someone's being bullied and you feel like they're being bullied, speak up in that moment. If you don't agree with something, speak up in that moment. Don't wait and then pussy pop backpedal when... Things get hot. Sapphire, she can go. Jayla. Now, Jayla, I was originally pissed as fuck that she was there. Because y'all know how I feel about Jayla. I don't like her. And I feel like deep down, Jayla is one of those girls that look at gay men like... <laughs> deep down. But she knows that the gays run the industry. And she knows that if she goes against the gays, she won't work again. So, Jayla plays nice. But I see you, Jayla. And I know what kind of girl you really are. But, allegedly. But... This is why I'm excited about Jayla. This is why I am excited about Jayla. Roll the next clip. Now, special appearances by. This confused me at first, but then I said, okay, maybe this is kind of, 
maybe these four are going to play the role that Sukiana and Sapphire played last season, right? Because technically, Suki and Sapphire were not full-time cast members on Baddies East. They were also special guests. So I'm assuming that these four are going to be in and out. Um, but we also know that Suki and Sapphire were on over half of the season, right? They were on like 10 plus episodes, it seemed like. So maybe these girls will get that. I'm not mad at this. Now, this is the only slide that I'm happy with. And when I saw this slide, I wasn't mad about Jayla because we all know that the Claremont twins and Jayla have history. They filmed their first ever reality show together when they were on the Bad Girls Club together, season 14, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. So when I saw the motherfucking Claremont twins, bitch, when I saw the Claremont twins, it made everything I was mad about go away kind of not really but y'all know what i'm saying like it kind of made up for it because i always said if the zeus network ever got the claremont twins bitch we got a motherfucking show and not only that i said zeus is gonna have to pay the claremont twins a bag because those girls they know their worth they ain't gonna take no lowball shit they ain't they ain't, they ain't doing it so i know these two probably got a hundred thousand each for their first and that's good for their first season right because i told y'all krishan shouldn't have accepted the hundred thousand she did she i feel like she did right but then the same time what else is she doing but the claremont twins baby you know they got a bag okay tommy i'm glad listen i have a love hate thing with tommy because tommy's done some really weird questionable shit but there's something about tommy that i really like She's a fashion girl. She's really pretty. I like that she's a gangsta ass bitch. But there's something about her too that's really scary. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I'm glad Tommy's there because listen, love her or hate her, Tommy brought a lot of the drama in Baddies West. And I love an unhinged, hot mess, sloppy bitch. In, in the best way. Bitch is a term of endearment. For me so i hope y'all don't take it the wrong way tell me i'm not calling you that kind of bitch like sloppy hot mess bitch you know what i'm saying like i love that about tommy like i love that I'm a, I'm a sloppy hot mess bitch too and i'm like you know what i'm saying so i'm happy about tommy aubrey o'day was a little random oh and with with tommy i'm curious to see what happened between tommy and biggie right i think they're cool now but just how we seen things pick up from baddies east how they left off when Biggie was like, they're, Tommy, they're over here saying you're not my friend. And and Tommy said, well, bitch, believe them. Click. I want to see how things pick up from that, right? Aubrey O'Day was totally random for me. But listen, I'm here for it, okay? And for two reasons. And I'll tell y'all how this happened. Natalie and Aubrey have kind of known each other for some time, right? They've been in the industry a around the same time. Aubrey a little longer than Natalie, but they both have been in this reality circle in Hollywood and they both, you know, the reality circle is a lot different because you, well, I don't have to explain that, but in the reality circle, just like any other circle, everybody kind of knows everybody, right? So Natalie and Aubrey kind of built something over the years. They kind of saw each other out at red carpets and stuff. Hey girl, what's up? Parties, that kind of thing. So that's how that happened. And I think Aubrey needed some money. She, you know, and, I, and that's no shade. I love me some Aubrey O'Day, okay? But let's be real. What has Aubrey done lately? Anybody? Oh, wait a second. I'm acting like somebody's actually going to answer me. But let me know in the comments. Aubrey hasn't done any, and this is just to keep it real, y'all. I hope y'all never take what I'm saying as like I'm a hater because I'm not. Let's just, because I would, I would be the same way if I was Aubrey. Like Zeus, I would love to be on Baddies Caribbean. If they called me and I was Aubrey, I would be like, when do I, when are we flying out? And I would be there. Because, you know, Aubrey probably got her, you know, a nice little 50000 something. She made her a nice little bag. To go to the Caribbean for a couple weeks and film? Bitch, sign me up, you know? Um, and I'm, I'm really interested to see if Aubrey fights. Because we've never seen Aubrey in this kind of situation. Any kind of show that Aubrey has ever been in has been a very controlled show. And when I say that, I mean the big conglomerate networks, NBC, you know, 
uh, Discovery, those type of networks where it's very controlled as much as far as there's a there's not really a violence. Vi violence isn't tolerated as much as it is on Zeus. Does it happen on network TV? Of course, but it's more frowned upon compared to Zeus where it's cheered on, you know, where they encourage you to fight. So I'm curious to see how Aubrey adapts to this environment. But baby, let me tell you, out of this entire thing, and I don't care who the new girls are because, or the audition girls, because on this post, Zeus says, but wait, that's not all. Audition picks are still coming next. Now, we're probably not going to get a lot of audition picks, I don't think. If they do give us a lot of audition picks, that's going to be a big fucking cast. Because we already have 13 girls. So if they add, what, six audition girls, that's going to be damn near 20 girls. So I'm imagining there's only going to be a few audition picks as normal. It's not like they didn't have a lot to choose from anyway, but still. This is why I say Zeus should do casting tapes there's only so many people that can make it to a Miami audition, Zeus. Have them send in casting tapes. Then you get a broad a range of personalities and not this small pocket of girls who are all doing the same thing and, and fighting over camera time and a microphone, right? But yeah, I'm, what do y'all think about this? Are y'all feeling this? Because I'm feeling this. I, now, if this was the main cast, I would be here for it all day, bitch. Like, can we take it? Can we? Can we take out Suki, Scotty, Mariah, and Sapphire, and just bring Tommy, Aubrey, and the Claremont twins in? Now, why didn't you do that, Zeus? Who made the decision to bring in Suki, Scotty, Mariah, and Sapphire? That's what I want to fucking know. That's what I want to know. Whoever made that decision needs they ass is kicked and needs to be fired. Now, let's move on to our last slide of girls. Now, these are the new celebrity cast. Now, I don't know who any of these girls are for them to be calling them celebrities. I'm so sorry. That's no shade. We use celebrity too much nowadays. I would say new public figure cast. New influencer cast. Celebrity is a very big statement. Bianca, uh, Bianca, I know I butcher your name, so forgive me. Bianca Bonnie, no clue who she is. Callie Way, no clue who she is. Meatball. Now, I don't know who Meatball is, but I've seen her on social media. Because I've seen the Shade Room and Neighborhood Talk and other blogs post about her. So, I've seen Meatball on Instagram, but I really don't know who she is. Influencer, rapper, something, right? Everybody's famous nowadays. Everybody a public figure. Everybody a reality star. Everybody a rapper. Everybody a model. Whatever. I don't know who any of these girls are to really give an assessment on them. So... I'm going to say like I do with all girls that I don't know. I'm going to give them a chance. Bianca Bonnie, Callieway, and Meatball, to me, these are new girls. So I'm good with them. I would have been fine with Tommy, Aubrey, Claremont Twins, Bianca Bonnie, Callieway, Meatball, and Natalie. Because we know Natalie's a shoe in. They're not going to get rid of her as long as she is eating Lemmy's Lemon Pepper's booty hole. Allegedly, as long as she's doing that. Natalie going to be around. So, what do y'all think about the them? Do y'all know Bianca Bonnie, Callie Way, and Meatball? I know a lot of y'all know Meatball. Because I, I, some of y'all have said that in my comments. But what about these other two? I'd love to see what you guys have to say about that. Okay, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this part. But, of course... Thirst Bucket on a Mac could not go the day without saying something. They announced the cast. I was very shocked on a Mac was not on the cast. Very shocked. Only because, as I've told you guys multiple times before, she allegedly fucks and sucks her way onto these shows. So I think it was a good move that Lemmy did not cast her. Because it would look really bad. Because we all know that... No, and I don't care what nobody says. You might like Anna Max, but she is not a fan favorite. If you look at the probably the ratings of the of cast members from last season, Anna Max was probably at the very bottom down there with... Um, Sapphire, E.T., that group. You know what I'm saying? T, the least favorites. So Anna Max posted this to her Instagram... And 
you know, at at uh, at the uh, above the their pictures, you know, it had celebrity casts, returning baddies, um, special guests, that kind of thing. She put injured reserve. She couldn't stand it that she wasn't a part of this season. Probably threatened Lemmy and tried to blackmail him. If you don't put me on the season, I'm going to tell everybody. Wouldn't be surprised because she seems like that kind of girl. But, automatically, how are you injured? We know what Roly said. Roly's trying, we, listen, y'all already know how I feel. But just to recap, Roly says that she's not returning to baddies because she just had surgery. I call bullshit. I told y'all she was let go. She was fired. She was put on pause temporarily, however you want to put it. Zeus did not want Roly back because of that petition. Let's be real. 200,000 fucking people signed it. They said, let's put Roly on a pause, on a break. So, injured, bullshit. Like I told y'all, if Roly really was worried because of surgery issues, Zeus would accommodate her. If that were really the case. They would tell her, we'll put, you don't have to fight in your contract. We'll make sure you have your own room so you can rest and you can, you know, whatever. You can drive in a separate car. They would accommodate her, y'all. People keep coming in my comments saying, Roly did not get fired. She left. She did not leave on her own accord. You think Roly gonna walk away from a six-figure bag? Bye, y'all. Bye. 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 I'm not arguing about it. We're not arguing about it. It is what it is. And that's the motherfucking facts of the situation. Um, Yeah. I'm going to miss Roly. I wish she, I'd rather have, if I'm going to have anybody return from the previous seasons, I'd rather it be Roly. Anna Mac could care less if I ever see her on my screen again. Hope I never have to see her on my screen again. Annoying, obnoxious, thirst bucket, lame, and whack, aka on a whack. Are y'all sad about this? So, out of all these girls, who are you guys looking forward to? What do you think about the returning cast? And what do you think about the new celebrity cast? And then what about the special appearance girls? Tommy Lee, Aubrey, Shannon, and Sinead Claremont. Because see, to me, the celebrity picks should have been Tommy, Aubrey O'Day, and the Claremont twins. They are more of celebrities than the other girls that y'all are calling celebrities. More people are going to know who Aubrey O'Day, people know that name. Tommy, a lot of people know that name and, you know, within certain um, genres, TV shows, shit like that. Claremont Twins, a lot of people know them as they're huge influencers. They may not be huge celebrities, but a lot of people know the Claremont Twins. And if you don't, when you see them, you're going to remember them, right? I just don't see the Claremont Twins fighting anymore with all their, the, like, old Claremont Twins, yeah, but the new body Claremont Twins, I don't see it. And are they bringing um, the dogs? I hope they bring their dogs with them, Callie and or whatever the names were. They had, you know, they had the two little dogs. I hope they bring them. I know one of their dogs ran away or got kidnapped or something. Hopefully they bring their little pups with them if they have some, if they have new pups. So yeah, y'all, let me know what you think of this cast. You know, we it's gonna be a hell of a season recapping this show. I have a feeling this is gonna be the best season yet because of this. Because Aubrey, Tommy, and the Claremont Twins, I'm sorry, that is the show. That is the show. That is what I'm excited for. Those four right there. That's what's got me excited. These other big, these other girls, I don't give a shit about. Let's just be honest. But I want to hear what y'all got to say. Get in the comment section. Let me know. Um, subscribe to the channel. Turn on your post notifications. Like the video. That helps me get in the algorithm. If you want to donate. The description box below, that'll show you how. There's ways down there for you to donate. If you leave a super chat, be mindful that YouTube does take 50% of the money that you guys donate to us. That's the only reason I give you guys the option to do cash out and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and last but not least, the Baddies East, or the, ba the Baddies Caribbean after show live coming in April or May. And then Damien After Dark, the podcast, also season four of my podcast, coming soon right here this spring, probably May. Um, 
right here on the channel. And I hope you'll join me for that. I need your guys' support, and I really want the podcast to be successful. So I would love for you to be there. And baby, we are going to have a key, okay? Anyway, I love you guys so much for watching and being here. Thank you for helping me follow my dreams. You guys mean so much to me. We'll see you next time on Damien After Dark. Love y'all.